To the MI, cat like a semi, niggas know my car, won't you get my cat like a semi, cat like a Alright guys, it's your boy Arj and I'm back today by popular demand bringing back the How To Korean series of guides. So as you might have known as being a subscriber, you'll see that I've been doing guides for every single character for every single person to watch. Now I've gone through quite a few and today is no different. I'm going to be going over Master Raven. Definitely one of the more requested characters I've had recently. In the comments I've been reading everything and guys, yeah, I know you've been wanting Leo, you've been wanting Master Raven, Yoshimitsu, Jin, I will get those done very, very soon. Now, as always with these guides, there's going to be, he's going to be done in two stages. So the first stage, which is me going over the key uh, punishes, the key frame data, then I'll be going over her key moves and then finally going over her key strategy when using her at a higher level. Now... After that is when we step it up again, we then hand it over to a high level Korean gameplay. So we'll see on my channel, obviously being the number one Tekken 7 content collection on YouTube, you'll see that I've collected every single high level Korean gameplay since before the game was released. Literally almost a thousand Tekken videos archived on this channel, collated and uh, archived and filed away by character, by player all put into neatly designed playlists for you guys to go watch and practice and just study so we'll hand it over to that after i've done this guide so that let's just get right into it and move on into the key punishes of master raven so obviously 10 frames this is what you'd use to punish uh hop kicks and the like so this is two four nice fast uh decent range next we have um her 12th frame, which is 4-1. So, 4-1 for Master Raven, 12 frames. As you can see, something also really good about this is the fact that it is a Magic 4 capable move. And because it has the extension, it combos immediately. So you don't need to react from the Magic 4. You, have, you can go straight into 4-1 and then go for the combo after. But I'll go into her Court Screw straight after this. So... That was 12 frames. For 16 frames, she has down forward 2. Now, this is also good because this is also a move that can combo as well. Yeah, just in the same way or other methods. So, 16 frames safe and it has two extensions to this move as well. A bit of a mix-up. So, down forward 2 uh, into 3. That goes into a high. It's safe on block but obviously duckable. But if you know, if you anticipate they're going to duck, you can go down for two into four. It's also a little bit of a delay. So it's also a sort of move that can catch people at the wall and go for the wall splat. Further to that, she also has wild rising punishes. So wild rising four as every character, generic wild rising four, 11 frames. So her fastest punish. Um, well, obviously 10 frames, she's still got two, four, but Further to that, from Wild Rising, she also has for 13 frames, Wild Rising 2, safe, Wild Rising 2, nice punish, and she also has for 14 frames, Wild Rising 1. Two good punishes, two good launches. Now, obviously, the key to using those those two launches, Wild Rising 2 and Wild Rising 1, is knowing how to crouch cancel into them. So what is a crouch cancel? This is what I mean by crouch cancel. As you can see, I've crouch dashed and then gone straight into that wire rising move. So you can go to any of the wire rising moves and it will be effective. Now, how do you crouch cancel? You need to crouch dash and then press press down in the middle of it. So if you look up my command list there. So that, was, that wasn't a crouch cancel, but this is. Crouch cancel. So this is no crouch cancel. And this is crouch cancel. Sorry, crouch cancel. So look at those commands, it is basically cancelling your crouch dash by pressing down, quickly tapping down and then going straight into the wild racing move. So that is key. Next I'm going to talk about her court screws. So the first of her court screws, you're going to see, you've already seen me do it in a combo just previously when I was showing you the punishes. So it is when she's in her back turn and then she does forward three, forward four, um, four three. So back turn, forward, three, four. Now, how you get to back turn is just back 
three plus four. That's her back turn, and you can you'll see a lot of Korean high level players sort of do this in the middle of the ramp by a good range, sort of tricking players. Cause she has got a number of options here. Fast moves like this, which on counter hit gives you a full launch. But I'll move on to that later. So that was one court screw. I'll give you a uh, little example combo of how that's used. Like so, really, really good option. Uh, she also has an option where where you get from the down forward two, so that's 16 frame punish. Now, I said if you get the launch here, this won't connect. So the down forward two into three won't connect if you get it there. You'd have to do another option. Now, but if you get a, a launch beforehand, you can use it in the middle of the combo for the court screw. So I'll show you an example of that. So just as so, as you saw, as soon as I got that, I went straight into a down forward two and it gives you the core screw. But if you get this move, if you get the down forward two out in open field and it hits, you can launch them in two ways. So first you could do, since you're on back turn, you can go straight into the forward four plus three as I showed you earlier, or you can do another move. So from back turn, you can actually hold back and then press three back three that is a damaging very not too fast but good uh, tracking move as well it allows for you to court screw so I'll show you here but you delay it slightly you can't just go straight into it you need to delay it slightly and then you've got right into the combo so that's another one of her court screws furthermore she also has an option which is back through back 4-4 four, four. so back 4-4 four, four is another option an example of using this is if you get a counter hit like that and then you're straight into the combo so that's another example and now one of the more bread and butters you'll see a lot of people use this for combos and that is back 2-4-2 two, two. so back 2-4-2 two, another example and you get another variant of this in the back turn stance which is back um, which is forward so from the back turn stance forward two four two so using a combo I'll give an example so they're a really damaging combo be used with that court screw so back 242 don't you forget it very very strong and very useful filler for um, Master Raven now moving on we're now gonna talk about some of the key strategy with Master Raven so you know some of the combos you know some of the punishes but what you need to know about some of our strong tools so first and foremost you need to know about her cr full crouch mix-up so if you press uh, while in full crouch, three plus four, you get this sweep. Now, if you do three plus four and press four afterwards, you get that full launch, uh, full move. So now that is good. It's strong. It's strong on its own. But what you need to also remember is that with this full crouch, what a lot of the pro players do, and you'll see them, is they go, they do this, but then they'll go for the O key that's available after that. And a lot of the time, the O key available. That they'll choose to go for is going for forward no up forward three now up forward three is good also as it move on its own right as from an, a good range it can get your combo on counter hit as so and you can combo straight from there but yeah from here obviously there is the down forward th three plus four but then there's also her while rising launches and there's always her up forward uh, four which is safe the first hit of which is safe very fast and very very strong move good tracking ability and on um, On hit the second hit of it. So if you press up forward three three you get this move Once the first move hits it jails and there's no interrupting it So you'll see a lot of players mix up by just going for the first one over and over again And then suddenly doing both hits which will then jail and catch them off guard so another very useful move for Master Raven. Now earlier I mentioned about the 10 frame punish. 
two four by all means that is her best ten frame punish. But of course she has gonna have the she's gonna have the generic one two punish. Now one two punish is good, and I mention it now because she also has uh, an extension here which is very strong for Master Raven. So she can go one two into down three plus four. Now this brings her into haze. So haze is just unlocked either from the one two into three plus four, or you can just press three plus four on its own. Now from haze there are a number of options. So first you have a sweep, which on counter hit will combo. So as you can see, it's like a snake edge and you'll be able to combo straight from that. So that is three plus four into three. Good at close range. So you get in here and then maybe do the one plus two and then into haze and into the sweep. Unseeable and very, very strong and gets you into a back turn stance immediately. Next we have haze into so this is a move good at uh, a nice range so if you're a little bit further away from the opponent and then press H quickly it's fast and will catch them off guard so it's also a move you could use if you're anticipating them come towards you you can evade them by going into haze similar to how you'd use an AOP stance and you can go straight into the four button press so that as you saw there, the range is ridiculous. It literally, you, she was in the air for a good second there and then hit him. So strong move also, but the strongest move in Haze is definitely going to be Haze into two. Now this move has been upgraded from the tag two version. It used to be much more damaging, but at the same time, it used to have such a ridiculously crap range. Now the range is ridiculous and the damage has been nerfed a bit. But look at that range. I'm literally like a character feet away from her, from the dummy character, and I can actually hit them. And it's such a, it's really quite fast. It's almost comparable to uh, Akuma's uh, jumping demon flip into grab, which is un quite unseeable and unbreakable once grabbed. So being able to just be up in your face and then go into that, it will be unexpected and will get you some good damage. I myself have been caught by it and I've seen a lot of players get caught by it, especially in the higher ranks. So keep that in mind also. Further to that is from Hayes is a decent launch art. It is using so Hayes into one. Now one will get you a mid launch art. It's a good movement because if you look at her character animation, she moves in a slide motion up. Now this allows you to uh, crush quite a lot of high moves. So if you're anticipating a high, this is the move to be using. So if you are going for jabs, typically you'll expect them to jab you out as well because obviously that's the only move that's going to jab out a 10 frame move. So if you do the two jabs into Haze and then into there, you will crush their high. So that is a technique you'll see a lot of players use as well. And you may very well see in the Korean gameplay that's coming up. Now another move to be thinking of in Haze is a Moss Raven's ability to, to cancel her warps. Now, as you know, obviously... In order to get in the air for death from above, she's warping in the air. Now, if you press Haze into forward, I mean into up, she will trick the opponent by warping, um, cancelling the warp and go straight into a safe movement. Now, this is good when an opponent is really anticipating your your warp moves so they're about to attack. If you can't trick them by basically switching it up, you will get quite a lot of... Uh, miss punishes so if they they try to do a hop kick for example to kick you out of the death from above since you cancelled it instead you'll be able to block their hop kick and then go straight for the 2-4 punish which on counter here at the wall actually gives you um a wall combo so pretty good now i've spoken about some of her key punishes but we can also talk about some more of her key moves which are good punishes as well so obviously if a character whiff, if a character whiffs, your opponent whiffs, her main go-to punish that you need to learn how to do if you're going to be a master Raven player or a Raven player is you need to be able to do forward forward two on demand and not just one forward forward two. You need to be able to do two on demand like it's nothing. So forward forward two, forward forward two, and so forth. So that is definitely something you need to keep practicing over and over again in whatever way you can until you can on both sides get 442 twice with no problems so that's important another ranged punisher she has is forward 
two, three. So good range move. The second move, the second hit, so the four, so the three, sorry, is a bit delayed. And look at the range I'm getting. So I'm missing the first hit and almost caught him there. Wow, but I catch him there as well. So really, really strong move. And again, jail. So the, if the first hit hits, the second hit will have to be blocked. Like you cannot interrupt it. So another jailing move. So really, really strong. I'm up close, fast, I believe 12 frame is down forward 2 1. So, no, so back down 2 1. Really, really strong move because why is it strong? So, not only is it really fast and on hit gives you plus frames, on if you just do da uh, back down 2, you're into back turn immediately. Now, what can you do in back turn? You can go fast for the quick low, which is forward. 4 plus 1 really damaging and really fast and unexpected or of course you can go into the hop hop kick from the back back to the hop kick launch straight or you can go into a sweep and that brings on its own melody of combos or you also have the options of going straight into a grab so obviously from back turn every grab is available And obviously from back turn also she has the one plus two really really strong it just looks a bit like you could combo fit now you can't combo a fit but I'm I'm assuming you can get guaranteed damage off that what I'm pretty sure you can get at least uh, a down forward three let me just try that one more time yep guaranteed down forward three at least so Really, really strong move. And that brings me to some of her lows, actually. So, down forward, three. Good fast low, not the greatest range. Doesn't really crush anything. It's just, just a decent slow low. Uh, probably, I'm, I don't think you can punish that either. Just a slow low. Like, not going to be punishing that. Punishable low that she does have, but is much better, is and tracks is her down back four. Down back four on count hit also... Knocks them down, giving you free guaranteed damage. So, another key low. She also has down back three, which again on counter hit will knock down like so. And it, this is more of a, one of those moves which is super punishable, definitely very punishable. But just the animation, just because she jumps in the air, is very difficult to react to. Considering also she is, Master Raven players are known for going for the up forward three. To then suddenly just go in for the up, the down back three, which has a similar animation. It is unseeable and a good mix up with her up forward three. So keep that in mind as well, guys. Another low to watch out for is down forward four. I mean, so just down four actually. Down four, really, really good low. Why is it a good low? Because this low is another strange animation low. Like she moves her entire body down, able to crush anything. She's even lower here. She's almost as low here as in the AOP stance or in her haze stance. So really, really strong. So you can actually go go from haze and then cancel forward dash and then go straight into the low. So and then go straight into the low. It's like you can crouch dash into into the low. So really, really strong low. Obviously punishable, but the damage you get from this and in all likelihood you are probably going to land this move. Really good option. And also, once you get this move hit, you are put st straight into crouch. So you you'll be in full crouch and you'll be able to go for the full crouch mix up as and when you please. So keep that in mind also. Another low you need to be watching for and definitely knowing how to use properly is her crouch dash two. Now this is good obviously for a number of reasons, mainly because it is a combo starter. So you can go straight into combos as you like from there. Now there's actually two possible combo starts from here. One which is easy and one which is very difficult for timing wise, but will pay off in damage. So let's show you the easy version first. There's a nice easy option where you get the get the sweep and then go straight into down back two one. So that's an option, but then this is the hard option where after you get the sweep, you need to go straight into forward, forward, three, which 
uh, forward forward four, which I must say also is a very key move because it's safe and is a good whiff punish. And also, of course, wall splats, so very, very useful at the wall as well. Now, let's try that. Very difficult timing, but let's see if I can get it. So as you saw there, there was the option there. So there are strong requirements to do from there, but the, the point of it being is that when you get that sweep, there is po it is possible to pick them up again for damaging forward forward four. So keep that in mind also and experiment with those combos. Next, moving on to some of our other more key moves. So she has other 12 frame punishes. In fact, one which is a kick and that is 3-3. Three, three. So 3-3 three, three is a mid into a high. So at the highest level, this will actually be ducked. That high can be ducked very easily. And the extension to this is another high. So that is 3-3-4. Three, three, but yes, the 3-3 three, three can be used as a punish if you do find them properly. But obviously, in terms of 12 frame punishes, it's probably safe to go for 4-1. Uh, this is the best option for 12 frame punishes, just because not only is it po the possibility of you getting a counter hit, but also you go straight into back turn and you've got so many options from here, as I showed you earlier. Another key move, which is a launcher, but only on counter hit, which you don't actually see many Master Raven players use, just because it's quite difficult to land, is her down forward 3. Now, this move is 21 frames on counter hit will give you a nice little launch but the key to using this is that you need to be quite up close because the animation allows you to crush crush a high and then go straight for counter hit combo so it's mainly to be used for crushing purposes that's why it's counter hit so you crush a high and then you can go straight into combo so that's one option there now, you saw a move I just did there in the middle, actually, as a miss input. So you have down forward one. Down forward one is a really good mid. Like, not only is it tracking to her left side, it is an, it's a move which on hit gives you plus frame. So, so it will really, really, really gel when hit and will allow you to then basically run town with Master Raven. So it's a good mid, one of the best uh, down forward ones in the game, in my opinion. So definitely be using that move, especially with characters that size for a lot. So like Miguel and Lily, this will stop them in their tracks. So good move. Another key technique to be using with Master Raven that's similar to her crouch dash mix ups and basically dashing in their face is the key of using. So I showed you the low where you go crouch, um, uh, crouch dash two. So crouch dash two goes into low. But you can cancel the crouch dash too by just holding back so and what happens there you are straight into back turn and then it's such a fast transition that you are able to then go into this move so this is a very common and very strong tactic of master ray from players to go straight into here and go into the forward four plus four four three so that is a really fast low and natural hit once that four hits so 100 percent need to be using this technique but of course is the mix up so really really strong and if just for good measure if you think they're going to attack if you think their reactions are that fast that they can attack you can not either grab or you can hold back and press grab so then you do a parry which then hits them and this is one of those parries which is unbreakable so if they do hit it and you get it the timing they will get hit by this parry so really really strong move for master raven talking of strong moves we've got to talk about back one plus two what a good safe backswing bro this can literally be spammed out and i've seen players spam this out and literally win matches because the damage of this move the speed of the move and just how far she backs out how she how far she um backswings is ridiculous at the wall this is a force we reckon with so you could dash right in her face right in the face and then go back into uh, back one plus two now that, that brings me nicely as you saw there I did back back uh, back back one no back back two sorry what a good move what a good ranged move so even from a full length away I can still get a hit it's a move which tracks which is safe and very very fast also now this move isn't the fastest but it is 17 frames so a really good move to just throw out because 
if you're at a good range and you see that they're whiffed, you can do back back two. So if, you, if you're not feeling going for the knee, which by the way is punishable, you can go for the back back two. Gives you good oki, especially at the wall. There's loads of options you can go for from here. Now the final two moves I'm going to be showing you are bread and butter moves all Raven players have known since Tekken 5. So back 2-2, two, two, the back 2-2 two, two mix up. So, so back 2-2 two, two goes into here and there's a number of options. You can either just cancel it there and go straight into back turn where there's loads of options as I've shown you. Or you can go straight for back 2-2, two, two, 1 plus 2. So... This move allows you to go for the low variant, so but then there's a mid variant which is the mix up, so back two to four. No, actually it's back two to three. So she's got two options there. Back two to one plus two into the low and back two to three. So a low and a mid option. Good in the, out in open field, because if you get these two hits, they are at your will and mercy. They are gonna have to guess. One way or another. At the wall, if they get hit, they're going to get wall splat by the mid. Or if they get hit by the low, there's just Oki everywhere, allowing you to get some further lows in or any other mix ups. Next and finally, we have uh, Down Forward 4. So, Down Forward 4 has been nerfed in this game since the previous uh, title. So, you'll see in the Korean gameplay, it's a little strong because it used to be able to launch you on counter hit, but now it doesn't. But it's still a good move because it's 13 frames. So a decent punish and has extension. So it can go from here into the next move. And then if you press 3-3, three, three, so down forward 4-4 four, four into 3, you will get uh, a second, a third hit, which on normal hit will actually, if you if they get caught by that move, so if they block and then get hit caught by this, it is a combo starter. Very much like up forward 3. So that is really strong. And again, just like I showed you about uh, the haze and the transiting. So um, if, you, if you go into haze and press forward up, sorry, you can then trick them by going and cancelling the, the tele teleportation. You can do the same thing here. So down forward four, um, down forward four, three, and then hold up where instead of going for the three so down forward four and then go straight into up so down forward four four up and you've cancelled it and you can go into any grab any one of the grabs mix up or any other shenanigans that you feel like going into so keep that in mind guys now i feel like in terms of getting you to intermediate play getting you right into the game i've gone over the, the definite basics of how to use master raven this is definitely something that i can can get you past green ranks and into warrior ranks with ease 100% in fact I'll probably do a series where I'm just using this basic knowledge and I'll get myself to let's say vindicate a rank because that's what that's pretty easy to get with most characters so I'll do that soon but yeah guys now we're gonna take it up a level and we're now gonna go for the Kyle of a Korean gameplay and let's see everything I've just shown you put into proper practice in a really competitive environment all right Let's move on to that. See you in a bit, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Quick shirt change, but yeah, we're on the Call Me Arch homepage, and I know it says road to 10K subs, but we're already on 12.3K subs, guys. Trying to hit 13, so please hit that subscribe button. Let's get there. But yeah, so homepage, as you know, this is the number one Tekken 7 content collection, grand finals, epic Tekken moments, and guides obviously mods etc etc but most importantly i've got high level gameplay for every single character archive so that if you need to practice a character if you need to practice gin you got a gin player if you need to practice lily you got lily players and today we're trying to practice master raven so let's head on into the master raven practice um playlist sorry and we will see everything i've taught you in that guide put into practice in a competitive environment now there's so many characters, obviously I've got every single character, so let's just find Master Raven. Uh, okay, Master Raven, 38 videos. Let's just find a good one. Uh, oh, actually, this is one of my more popular ones. 
I'm not really sure why it's got so many views, but I think it's because she's in a bikini. But then again, these are purple ranks. So let's see what's going on. Right. Uh, I think the first match is not that great. So let me just... Here we are. Second match of this set. And let's see Master Raven versus low high so a very very skilled uh demo gym player very skilled tekken player anyway okay so with that up forward three no that down forward three sorry and then into the wall combo the bread and butter one you've been seeing all the time into a down three there okay was in the full crouch setup was trying to do the mix up gets launched by devil jin still in it though okay nice punish 12 frame punish four one Okay, backdashing, backdashing. And goes for the grab, the command grab. Low parry into down, forward, 2-3 as the court grew. Very, very nice. You saw there she did a crash dash 3 there. That is also a launch. Well, very punishable. Okay, doing the back 4-4 four, four there for the court screw. Oh, extends the combo by doing a forward, forward, 4 there. And the into wall combo. Dashing, okay. Right, going for the down four three again in this in this variant of the game it is a launch on counter hit but obviously in the new patch it is not a launch anymore okay. at the wall doing a move that's too slow too slow for devil jins up forward three okay down back two from devil jin oh goes into hell sweep catches our master raven goes into full combo what more would you, what le could you expect anything less from low high basically? Okay, goes for the up forward 3 plus 4, gets the combo and does back 4-4. Four, four. Oh my god, jumps over, gets the back turn, sweep into combo. Oh my lord. He could have got another launch there, but yeah, finishes it off with the natural combo. Nice, while standing 2 there. Counter hit. Oh my god, extending the combo with the forward forward three. Told you need to be able to do that on command. Whiff punishes him with an up forward three plus four and takes that convincingly. That, that is how you play Master Raven. Using all those moves, all of those tactics in perfect unison. Alright, uh, next match, come on. Okay, ducks the 10 frame jabs, launches him, goes for the bread and butter, 2 4 2 court screw. Okay, going for the crouch dash mix up again. Getting caught out, yes, blocks the hell sweep, gets the 4 4 2 in the middle of the combo, then goes for the bread and butter, 2 4 2 court screw, goes for the crouch dash to sweep and gets the combo. Very, very nicely done. Okay, down for two there into while standing two from Double Jin. Not punished properly though by Master Raven. She could get a 4 1 there, 12 frame punish. Yes, yes. Dodges that 3 plus 4 there and goes for the back back two there. Okay, down, down back three, down back, down forward one there. Extends with the 4 1. And what? What a combo! Master Raven's wall damage combo. If you mastered it, if you look online, you see some of the combos. They are insane. Okay, misses the 12 frame for one punish there. Okay, gets caught. Counter hit. Down for two by Double Jin. Nice finish with the electric. Right. She's trying to do a mix up where she's crouch dashing, but then going for the up forward 3 plus 4, and it's working. Going for the down forward 3 again. Nice down back three there, unseeable low. Nice damage. Okay, down back three from Double Jin. Looks like Double Jin's gonna close out. Yeah, nice down forward two. No, yep, yeah, down forward one from Double Jin there. Oh, going for the down forward three there. Oh, one two haze. I told you, such a good move, but doesn't actually do anything from it, so it gets jabbed out. Oh, full wall combo. Uh, up forward three from Devil Jin. Ah, oh, this is not looking good for Master Raven. This is not looking good for our hero. 
come on master let's see what she can do. nice block on hell sweep forward forward three oh no tries to extend it very hard to go into the, the back turn to get the three plus four which does do a lot of damage and extend it but is more difficult than the the more common move you'd see uh master in plays use okay dodges and gets that mix up again all right does the back turn into three plus four again and goes for the same sweep mix up now picks up using forward forward no way using the forward forward four mix up goes in straight for the rage art and it's over absolutely amazing 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 gameplay okay i can tell why this video has got so many views now i can tell it's getting shares but anyway guys I hope you got a glimpse there of exactly how to use Master Raven from that gameplay. Obviously, there's so much more Master Raven gameplay to see here. From Korea, Japan, the UK, everywhere. I've got JDCR playing Master Raven. Check out this playlist if you're into Master Raven. And if you're into any other character, make sure to be one of those top Tekken players. Subscribe to this channel and study your character deeply with all these videos. It took me a long time to build this play these playlists up, but it's worth it. I can tell you that much. So I'll leave a sneak peek at the end for the next character uh, tutorial I'll be doing. But yeah, until next time, guys, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Cheers. New Challenger.